What I love about the position is that um, you're on the end. You got outside contain. You can use a, a guy that um, you can drop. You know, you can um, a guy that can get to the quarterback, which affect everything if you can get to the quarterback. And that's especially our defense ends. Defense ends go after the quarterback, and they also um, they impact player on the D, such as like making um, stopping run plays, you know, and um, stopping anything to come on the outside. So I think that's very special about defense end. Football correlates a lot of things in life, um, especially you know playing at Alabama. The, the process is big in Alabama. Um, the process on you know where you start um, and the steps you have to take to be successful. Um, being disciplined, you know, having you know mental toughness and that sort of stuff, I think you know is huge. There's, there's skills you can draw from the game um, to use the game to benefit benefit yourself, you know, outside of football, um, whether it's school, you know, um, your family and, and friends and stuff like that. But you know, I definitely picked up a lot of you know those crucial skills um, that will you know help me for the rest of my life. You want to excel at defensive end. You always you got to have good hand and footwork. I think you know. You always want your steps to be right. You know, if you step too far or you don't step far enough, you can be off balance and, you know, be easily blocked. And uh, playing defensive line, hand placement is always important. You know, the inside man always win with, uh, with their hands. And uh, uh, also on defensive line, your hands have to be very violent and you have to be able to rip off and, you know, and swim over guys and to go, to go make a play. I think learning the, the technique of, um, you know, using your hands and, you know, coming out of your hips and stuff like that, I think would be crucial. Um, they're probably the only things I, I never really picked up, you know, playing as a young, a young kid in Australia to, you know, being here now. Um, I think the technique and stuff, obviously it's tough to learn without a lot of the coaching there, but um, when you do get the coaching to, to do it properly, I think, you know, coming out of your hips and, and you playing with your hands and, um, you know, controlling blockers, I think would be huge. Um, being a good student, it helps you because, like, if you're involved in the classroom a lot, you know, it's easier to transition to football when you're in the classroom, you're taking notes about different schemes, and then I try, try to do the same thing um, in the football classroom because it's going to eventually, and they're both going to correlate with each other because you want to start falling asleep in uh, meetings and things like that. So it's very important if you just see it in both. Like how football helps you with the rest of your life, it's, you know, vice versa, you know, being a, a good student outside of football, you know, only helps you, you know, help you study the game a bit more, um, help you watch film better, um, you know, help you pick up small things you might have missed um, about another team that might help you, you know, win a game. And, uh, you know, I think those are, you know, crucial skills that, you know, correlate with life and football that, you know, are, are a necessity to be successful in both. Work hard, you know, do what your coaches tell you to do, they know what's best. Um, tr find a way to get things done, even though you don't think you can do it. Find a way you can get things done and just leave everything out on the field. You know, don't leave no regrets. You know, everything you work hard for, as in like in practice, everything you work hard for to that point of that game, just leave it all on the field and just give it all you got. Concentrate on school more, um, you know, especially younger in high school. You know, I'm, well, probably I, I didn't necessarily have bad grades. I just didn't choose the right classes for me um, being in Australia. But, uh, you know, I think. Uh, We'll probably be, you know, eat better and uh, I guess, you know, listen to my parents a bit more as much as I can and that'd probably be it. Head up, eyes up, see who you tackle.